Hello, my dear students. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, in our last classes, we have discussed the chapter motion from class nine. Also, we have solved some numericals from the exercise part. Uh, today, I will give you some important questions and answers from this chapter. So, let us start with our question and answer session. Let us first discuss some multiple choice questions. First question. The reference point needed to specify the position of an object is known as options are origin, midpoint, focal length, none of the above. Answer is origin. Next question. Which of the following is a vector quantity? Speed, velocity, Time, all of the above. Answer is velocity. Displacement options are is always positive, is zero, can be positive, negative, and zero, none of the above. Answer is can be positive, negative, and zero. Example of uniformly accelerated body is options are motion of a freely falling body bouncing ball boat none of the above answer is motion of a freely falling body the area enclosed by velocity time graph will give the magnitude of options are displacement Speed, time, all of the above. Answer is displacement. Odometer is used to measure displacement, average speed, acceleration, force. Answer is displacement. Which of the following statement is correct? Options are Velocity of a moving body is always higher than its speed. Speed of a moving body is always higher than its velocity. Speed of a moving body is its velocity in a given direction. Velocity of a moving body is its speed in a given direction. Answer is Velocity of a moving body is its speed in a given direction. Next question. A car of mass 1000 kg is moving with a velocity of 40 meter per second. If the velocity time graph for this car is a horizontal line parallel to the time axis, then the velocity of the car at the end of 25 second will be options are 40 meter per second 25 meter per second 100 meter per second 5 meter per second if the graph is a horizontal line parallel to the time axis then we know that the velocity is constant so the answer is 40 meter per second the velocity of a body at an instant of time is called options are average velocity, instantaneous velocity, speed and simply velocity. Answer is instantaneous velocity. Next question. In which of the following cases distance and displacement are equal? Options are if the pendulum is moving to and fro, if the car is moving on a straight road, moving with no acceleration, moving with uniform velocity. Answer is, if the car is moving on a straight road. Now let us discuss some descriptive questions. The first question is, an object has moved through a distance. Can it have zero displacement? If yes, support your answer with an example. Answer. 
Yes, an object moving through a certain distance can have zero displacement. Displacement is the shortest distance between the initial and final position of an object. Thus, if the object after covering certain distance comes back to its initial position, then the displacement becomes zero. Next question. Under what condition is the magnitude of average velocity of an object equal to its average speed? Answer. Since average speed is the total distance traveled in a time frame and velocity is the total displacement in the time frame, the magnitude of average velocity and average speed will be the same when the total distance traveled is equal to the displacement. Next question. When will you say a body is in uniform acceleration and non-uniform acceleration? Answer. For uniform acceleration, the body moves in a straight line and its velocity increases or decreases by equal amounts in equal intervals of time. Then the body is said to be in uniform acceleration. For the non-uniform acceleration, the velocity of the object increases or decreases in unequal amounts in equal intervals of time. Then the body is said to be in non-uniform acceleration. Next question. What is the nature of the distance time graph for uniform and non-uniform motion of an object? Answer. In case of uniform motion, distance time graph is a straight line and for the non-uniform motion, the distance time graph is a curve. You have seen here, there are two graphs. The first graph is that of a uniform motion, where we get a straight line passing through the origin. Whereas in the second graph, the graph is not a straight line, but it is a curve. And that is for the non-uniform motion of an object. Distinguish between speed and velocity. Answer. Here you make two columns. First column is that of speed and second column is that for velocity. And point wise write the differences. The first point is the speed refers to the distance moved by an object over a time interval. In velocity we have to write down Velocity refers to the displacement of a given object over a time interval. In the second point, the speed does not have any direction. That, is, that means it is a scalar quantity. Whereas in velocity, the velocity has a specific direction. That is, it is a vector quantity. In the third point, we can write the formula to calculate both speed and velocity. For the speed, we can write distance divided by time. And in velocity, we can write displacement divided by time. In the fourth point, we can write speed can never be zero. Also, it can never be negative. But velocity can be zero also and also it can be negative. So these were some important questions and answers that I have given you. Hope you have understood all those questions, questions and answers and uh, note it down in your uh, notebook so that it will be easy for you to study. And in our next uh, class, I will be taking up a new chapter. Thank you.